Here is the latest addition to my little collection of air guns. As you can see from the box, this is a Daisy Red Rider Carbine BB gun. Now this is a little bit of a departure from the sort of air guns I usually have. If you've watched any of my previous videos on air guns, you'll know that I usually prefer replica air pistols and rifles. This one isn't a replica, but it is inspired by a real rifle. So why am I interested in this? Well, this gun's not that well known in the UK. But in the USA, this is an iconic gun and part of American history, but it needs some context. So I'll take it out of the box and we'll take a look at it and I'll try and give you a little bit of its history. And here it is in all its glory. So a little bit of context. It was first produced by Daisy in 1940 and has been in production ever since. Yeah, this gun has been in production for 83 years. Now there was a brief pause apparently during the war, 1942 to 45, when Daisy's production was converted to the war effort. But uh, since, no, it's, it's, apart from that, it's been in production pretty much continuously. In the early 1940s, television was still in its infancy and cinemas and movies were where, you know, the staple of entertainment was. And one of the most popular genres was of course, the Western. In 1939, John Ford, made the classic Western stagecoach and throughout the 1940s there were many others like the Western of the Return of Frank James, My Darling Clementine, many many others. These early Westerns made stars out of people like John Wayne, Gary Cooper, Henry Fonda and Randolph Scott. Then the late 1940s television took off in a big way. Once again the Westerns were at the forefront. Initially it was shows like Hopper on Cassidy and The Lone Ranger and then later in the 50s came Gunsmoke, Wagon Train, Maverick, Rawhide, Wanted Dead or Alive and so on and so forth. There were many, many cowboy western shows. Now the point is that these films and TV shows didn't just make stars out of the actors that were in them, but they also made stars out of the guns. Particularly these guns. Now this is my replica of a model of 1894 Winchester. But the model didn't really matter. It was the fact that it was a lever action Winchester repeating rifle that was the star. And there was even a movie called Winchester 73 starring James Stewart. And if that wasn't enough to firmly fix the gun status, then John Wayne in Stagecoach and True Grit, and later on on television, Chuck Connors in The Rifleman and Steve McQueen in Wanted Dead or Alive developed the seriously cool spin cocking technique which we've all seen, and that really is cool. The point of all this was that during the 1940s and the 50s, even into the 1960s, every young boy wanted to be a cowboy. Now, Daisy was very smart in producing the Red Rider, which was marketed at children 10 years and older. By the end of the 1940s, Daisy was selling 1 million Red Rider BB guns a year. And the movie connection sort of came full circle in 1983 with the film A Christmas Story, which features a Red Rider as the central part of the film. And now I'm a great Western fan, <laughs> you know that because I've got several Western gun replicas, uh, both movies and TV shows. So having this classic BB gun was really a no brainer. So let's take a look at the actual gun. So it's got a metal barrel and it has real wood forestock and mainstock, which is just lovely. And, and they always had this, they always had real wood stocks which is fantastic the magazine is actually a gravity fed magazine and i'll explain how that works in a minute so at the end of the barrel we have this little tiny slide up cover which you just basically press in and push up and that's where you pour the bbs in and you literally just pour them in now according to the box this has a capacity to hold 650 BBs, <laughs> which means you're not going to do a lot of re re reloading. Now it's a Springer, so you have to compress the spring obviously to cock it and it's brilliantly done using the this like fake lever action. So you basically just move the lever all the way forward and it's quite strong. You need quite a good, you know, bit of hoof to do that. That, that loads it, you bring it back lock it into position and you're good to go. So that's how it all works. There is a safety. Don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Um, let's bring this up. I don't know whether you can see that. But just here behind the trigger, there is a safety. You, it's a push, pull, safety. So that's safe, that's fire. 
All of this is metal, but the trigger is actually plastic. Now it has a fixed front sight, but the rear sight, much like the original one on the Winchester, is adjustable for elevation. Now, although this is marketed at children, it's very definitely not a toy. I mean, air rifle terms, it's very underpowered. Now they claim 350 feet per second on the box, but most of the chronograph tests I've seen that have been done on these Red Riders, they're normally more like 250 feet per second. And by, by comparison, for example, my Winchester replica is around about 600 feet per second. But you know, this will still put a hole in a tin can, so you've got to treat it as any other air rifle. Now I intend to make mods to the Red Rider. Uh, mainly I'm going to attempt to make a new stock for it. It is actually quite short. Obviously it's designed for children uh, who haven't got particularly long arms. So for an adult to fire it, it's, it, it's, it would just be much more comfortable if it was a couple of um, inches longer, which should be fairly easy to do. Now, Daisy does actually make an adult version of the Red Rider, uh, which, while available in the States, they're quite difficult to come by over here in the UK. And they are basically, from this part forward, exactly the same. They just have a thicker, longer stock on them to make them more comfortable to shoot for adults. So that's the plan, but um, definitely going to have a go with it, as it is. So, um, yeah, what a lovely gun. Well, let's see how it shoots. Not bad at all. Definitely shooting over to the left, but considering this is only the second time I've actually fired this, that is that is not bad. Well, that about wraps it up for the old Daisy Red Rider for now. It is great fun. Very, very quiet. Quietest air gun that I've actually got. It does actually kick a little bit, which you kind of would expect because of, you know, it's got a fairly powerful spring in it, but that just is all part of the fun really. But I, I just think, this, this thing is is amazing and it, it, these are still uh, really really cheap i think they're about 30 dollars in the states over here it's about 50 quid which is like next to nothing for an air rifle that is just amazing and um no i i'm i'm well well pleased with this like i said well, we'll come back to it if i am successful in making a new stock for it and i'll show you that but uh, for now i think that'll uh, that'll do it for the uh, Daisy Red Rider Carbine BB Gun. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers.